claim my rewards. And yeah, that done. All of the stuff regarding the receiver of friends from afar has been officially completed. Oh yeah, next up is Ganyan Story Quest. Go. Fleet Shatter. Go to Mount Alshan. Alshan. I don't know how you how you pronounce it. It's Mount Alshan. Alshan. Anyways, uh, Paimon has a sudden yearning for the quirky stories told by Cloud Retainer. Go to Mount Alshan to see the Deptis, with whom you are quite familiar. Go. <laughs> Teleport. Here we are, right outside our place. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Leo at Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, mm -hmm. so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? Well, yeah, something caught my eye. But, um... Uh... Well, it's uh, I wanna. I don't think I've seen before. Yeah, who is she? Ah, huh. crazy. It's like I, you know, memories from the Lantern Rite Festival evaded my mind for some, avoided my mind for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know who she is. Uh, she's definitely a sight to behold. Kind of resembles someone I know. Um, yeah, don't think we've ever seen her before. Yeah, but yeah, wow, it's a uh... whoa, what a pretty lady! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? But uh, it, it seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus, no? Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look, and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of adept eye friends from all over the country. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Mm -hmm. Well, um... Uh, <laughs> who, who knew you were such a social butterfly, Paimon? Well, if you were so eager to, um move things forward and leave the introductions to you helping you make more connections is a part of paimon's job as your reliable guide paimon's got this right let's see do that <laughs> um hello hmm. <laughs> okay I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on, shh, shh, I'm on, uh, just say everything in a nice tone. Ahem, <laughs> um, doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two... <sighs> What is this tomfoolery? Has this shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Wait, you're... Cloud Retainer? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? There was actually no giveaways to 
who she should have been. Dawning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. <laughs> so, uh, you're indulging now because? Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> it feels like Cloud Retainer has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. Um, I almost forgot, uh, Paimon brought you some gifts, right Paimon? Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? Oh, so you have taken care to follow <laughs> the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Now Jaina tries but fails to look indifferent as Paimon begrudgingly <laughs> gives her the offerings. Well One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown <laughs> proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift... <sighs> that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? Cloud Atena said that uh, she's going to visit some of her disciples. Didn't you listen that to that, Paimon? Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Chenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shenha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However... One yep. would first inquire as to be. the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? No reason in particular. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm, is that so? That's so. <laughs> If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Yeah, let's go to Liyue Harbor. Thousand Moonlit Miles started. <sighs> Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one tell in the number of times she returns to Mount Outsan uh -huh. each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote <laughs> that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable yeah. future. Huh. Do they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for like oneself I said, if their living conditions are satisfactory. Her best to see how her children are faring. Mechanism on the table. Elegantly assembled mysterious mechanism. For some reason, it is hard to keep your eyes off of it. It appears to be one of Cloud Retainer's new inventions, but it's hard to tell what it could be used for. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we'll go back to Leeway Harbor, right? 
The abode of Cloud Retainer is adept to Sims unwilling to receive guests. Yes, because she's not here. <laughs> she she booked it. Let's see. We're almost at Way High Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? No. I guess we have no idea if Shenhua and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, wait. Where did she go? I mean, I think, um, um, yeah, she, she didn't come with us, and I suppose she's just back there. Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. Hmm. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Uh. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention... Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud Retainer? Anyway, girl, you don't have your, your exquisite outfit anymore. Not lantern, right? So. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Too late. Too late. She saw you. <laughs> oh. Busted. Yeah, busted, Is huh? Is that lady someone you know, Miss Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin. But could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Oh, look. oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huixin. Okay. Let's see. It's been a while, Ganyu! Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this cloud retainer of whom you speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. Huh? Huh? What do you think one's, one is simply one mere mortal passerby? It seems she's not buying it. Yeah, uh, Dan, you saw right through her. Um, that was but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing <laughs> one's other form. <laughs> Dan, you looks totally bewildered. Just thinking, why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How about you? How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh, uh... Cloud Retainer's right! We've still got something super important to do, so we can't stay here for too long today. <laughs> Not buying it. <laughs> oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. 
A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Ah, <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. Cloud retainer, stop! <laughs> okay, well, that, that's what <laughs> cloud retainer or oh, Zhan Yun does best. When Zhan Yu was a baby. <sighs> yeah. So many stories, but you have to, you love that uh, bond between them two. If you insist, we are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall... It's just some of re recent adventures, John. Wow, you. you've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, mm -hmm. please just come find me at UI High Pavilion. Sure. Also... Forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer, but if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? A human name? Hmm, a human huh. name, you say? You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, yes. Cloud Retainer one's is renown, surely though? too recognizable as a name. You really think so? I, not that you're not famous or anything but <laughs> that famous <laughs> you presume to know the extent of one's my illustrious words. <laughs> achievements one would hardly think such a thing to be possible <sighs> nevertheless Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored from this point on when in public occasions be sure to refer Ganyu. to one so as yeah Shenyu. that's when he got her name goes Tianyun? Ah, I assume that's a reference mm -hmm. to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. Full record of Pristine Pavilion. Okay. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. Mm -hmm. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Carefree and spontaneous nature. Okay, nice. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of Adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Mm hmm Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. <laughs> huh? Wait, so you're okay. really that powerful? Mm hmm She she is. She she definitely is. And what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? By the way, uh when Paimon said, Are you really that powerful? Well, um people who have pulled for Jean Yun and got her and her best build. Um can vouch for for this specific sentence being yeah she's really powerful when she's used um uh with the best allies i mean she can make anyone really powerful uh i, I saw people actually um playing her with the luke or Zhao, or anyone to and boost their damage significantly more like to support healer. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what Paimon had in mind. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. 
It is said that once, a long, mm. long time ago, there was a severe drought in Li. Severe drought. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day oh, and night okay. praying to the. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also noxious began to spread gas? through the land. If not for Cloud Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. Yes. What could this noxious gas be referred to? Is that related to the abyss or maybe um a karma? Uh, I don't know. It is Ranyu said that if um, Cloud Retainer didn't put in the effort, well, uh, a lot of leeway today, just uh, barren less wasteland, so. Right, desert. The books had this to say about what happened. Okay. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together. An abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Oh, Drought well, and plague were both driven that powerful, away, it seems. <laughs> and the people were saved. Whoa, that's yep. incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely yeah, with one it. ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Yeah. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not too mad, <laughs> are you? <laughs> uh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> Yeah, I that's a relief. To call you whatever feels right in the moment. <laughs> well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? And that's the mention related to... That's a mention to Lantern Rite. Nice. That is a lot of questions. A lot of questions, yeah. <laughs> there is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. One Min Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenhe to staff the restaurant. I see. Most excellent That's indeed. That's nice of her, to be honest. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Shangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenhe's work difficult. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person okay, and see so how Shenha we'll, is doing. Uh, to Wanmin Restaurant, see how Shenha is doing now. Uh huh. But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? <laughs> you may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll you see you some you. other time. You, uh, well, I always saw you during Lantern Right, but with that gorgeous outfit that you were wearing, wearing you and Shenha, by the way. But yeah, uh... It was nice to see you, and I hope uh, you are doing amazing, girl. See you around, Ganyu! 
All right. Now let's go to one more restaurant, right? Quick on the uptake there, don't you think? As soon as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the yeah. conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? No. In fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. This is a piece for me. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed Oof. to you in time. Huh. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story <laughs> about her powers? Yeah, so... The Xiaonyun is cool. I mean... Cloud of Trainer is quite powerful. Uh, there has been many stories to tell about of her actual prowess during the drought. Anyway, you get okay. what I'm saying, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. How can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, huh? Okay, okay, guys, oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? These guys, seriously. You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. What can I get for you today? <laughs> uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... What would you like to order? <laughs> yeah. Shenha is forthcoming. But she um not she does not do it because she wants them to be afraid, no. She's just, it's just in her nature, I mean like that. That's what makes Shenha in the end. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Oh, good chat box. <laughs> Shenha! Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? I teach you. Don't welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. <laughs> It's been a while, Shana. How have you been? Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is? Uh, this is Miss Xinyun. Master? Yep. Huh? Huh? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity? I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <gasps> you. <laughs> My form. A perfect surprise. You saw right through it. <laughs> the element of surprise is gone. Oh. Is something the matter, Master? No, it's fine. Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. Uh -huh. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for... All right. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead. Sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Okay, let's uh, let's chat with Shenha. Sit and chat. Where do we sit? Okay. Sorry, I'm passing for. As in fruit. <sighs> mm. 
It is just as one expected. The yeah. owner of one yes. restaurant yeah. is indeed a most no, reasonable and a Jean means father for nothing. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing hmm. with them. So by dealing with them? Hmm? You mean, um. Yeah. You mean, um, you know, putting, the, putting them in the ground? Is, um. <laughs> the strength? Or maybe a mean expression or being forthcoming like she did with these guys. First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. At this point, they usually decide <laughs> they are. Oh, uh, how should Paimon put this? <laughs> yeah, sounds reasonable enough, I suppose. Oh, a sensible plan. One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. And you, Master? How have you been? Simply marvelous! Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. Hmm. What? What she means to say? <clears throat> what she means to say is she actually misses the two of you a lot. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did. Uh, <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. <laughs> There's hardly yeah, a need to keep one in suspense. She wants attention. She wants uh, to be... To have company. She feels quite alone up there in Mount Outson. Uh, without her daughters. Whoa. Her mood shot up just like that. By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Who did? Uh, indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Clavertiner's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Oh? Oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly yes, gave Carver. her a natural okay. edge in such a contest. You lost. <laughs> in response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device brand on the day device. of the contest. Huh, what kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. Natural vehicle? What was it called again? Electro powered oh, an bicycle? Electro powered bicycle? Oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flash Mobile. One spent 49 mobile. days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. 
One was thwarted mere seconds from victory, when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenhe. Master, that was the end of that story. <laughs> okay. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, fossils? after all? Have you been lonely, Master? Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the faces. What is the reason for that look upon your face? a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the mm -hmm. rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth and it's like you're back to being that illuminated yeah. bird again. But, um... When, as we saw in Lantern, right? Um, switch between Cloud Obtain and John Yoon doesn't change anything to the fact that this is still an adeptus that we're talking about. I'm just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me, they are both master. Yeah. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. <laughs> extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words. Yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet what She got like... What, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her ego is about to burst. Yep. Onion. Do you have any empty tables? Hey there, could we get another fish stew? Yeah, Shinha is... Uh, uh, yeah, Shinha, you need to go back uh, to... Um, work teams. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. <laughs> All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, huh? Mm hmm. I'll try my best. Go for it, Joel. I'll be rooting for you. As more and more guests begin to trickle, and time takes the opportunity to do a whole array of delicious dishes. 